So here we have it, our mutant drowned farm. And when we spawn this regular drowned into this farm, in theory, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll turn into a mutant drowned. Are you ready? In three, two, one, boom. Regular drowned and boom! <laughs> mutant drowned. Check this out, guys. Holy moly. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? AY Stream here to show you how you can make an actually working mutant drowned farm to spawn, raise, breed and farm mutant drowned zombies in your very own Minecraft world. Oh, and here's the best bit. It'll work for any version of Minecraft, whether you guys are on an iPad, iPhone, Android, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or PC. It ain't matter. You will be able to get mutant drowned in your world. However, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Now, this here is your average drowned. They kind of just waddle around the sea floor going, I am drowned, and they don't really cause too much trouble. However, take this fella and make him about, I don't know, five times this size with muscles bigger than my entire body. And suddenly, you have a very scary mutant drowned on your hands, which makes making a farm for one of these guys pretty difficult and less of a farm and more of a military base so that you can look after him, make sure he doesn't escape, but still feed him and make sure he's happy and healthy. But now that you know what we're up against, let's get straight into building. Now, I've been thinking, I don't think you guys can handle the mutant drowned. Yeah, sorry, it's kind of a very scary and dangerous mob, and I don't think you guys are ready. Wait, what's that? You guys say you can handle it? Well, I'm not sure, but you know what? Prove me wrong by watching this entire video and dropping a like down below if you think you can handle the mutant drown. We're going for 10,000 likes on today's video. Of course, guys, if you want more epic Minecraft tips and tricks to show off to all your friends, make sure to slap the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to ling ding ding to never miss an upload. But since you guys say you can handle the mutant drown, step one, you're going to need a nice, empty, and big space <laughs> like the one behind me to start building your farm. Place to build? Check. Next, items. You're going to need a bunch of dark prismarine, glass, obsidian, dark prismarine stairs, iron bars, a dispenser, a stone button, a bunch of prismarine bricks, conduit, a ton of water, kelp, and finally seagrass. So let's get started. Step two, we need to lay the foundation for this farm. So what we're going to do is grab our dark prismarine bricks and you want to build 25 long. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And then you want to do the exact same thing horizontally. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wait, I missed the block. So 21, 22, 23, 24. 25. I think that's right. Yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. And then what you want to do, guys, is do this exact same thing on the other two sides to make a very nice square. Step 3, the supports. What you want to do is grab your dark prismarine bricks and build one, two, three, four, five tall on each of the corners of our square here. So we're going to come over here. One, two, three, four, five. Then on our next one, one, oh, one two, three, four, five. And finally, one, two, three, four, five. But we are going to do two more supports right in the center here. So what you want to do is where the center is, break out our block. This is going to be our entrance into the farm so we can feed our mutant drowned. Then on either side of this, we're going to also build one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't count. That is six. Five. There we go. Support done. Now, we want to fill the spaces between our supports with glass, like so. So we're just going to fill all of this up with glass, but you don't want to go all the way to the top of your support here, guys. So as you can see, leave one block open in space at the top, and then you can go ahead and fill the rest in with glass. Oh, and also leave this opening without glass as well. Time to fill this bad boy in with glass. Thank you. 
So glass is great and all because you can look into your farm and keep a watchful eye on your mutant drowns. However, mutant drowns can actually break regular glass. So that's a bit of a problem. So what we're going to do is grab our obsidian here and we're going to reinforce our glass. To do this, guys, what you want to do is layer this entire bottom area here with obsidian. And then you want to build one, two, three, four, five up here. And then bring your obsidian right back around on the other side. Oh, not that far. And then one, two, three, four, five. So your window looks a bit like this. And therefore, it'll be reinforced by the obsidian and the mutant drown won't be able to break it. Now, we're going to do this to each of the other sides. Just one thing to note here, guys, make sure you don't cover up your entrance with obsidian because then you won't be able to get in. Now, the next step, honestly, does not add anything important to the farm. It's more of a decorative step, so it doesn't look, you know, so ugly here. What we're going to do is we're going to fill in this space between the obsidian and glass with dark prismarine stairs. And then at the base of our farm, we're also going to uh, coat this here in dark prismarine stairs. And now we're just going to go ahead and do that around the entire thing. Now, you might think this is looking pretty beefy at the moment, but mutant drowns can still escape this because they can actually jump higher than the height of this farm. But to stop that, it's a pretty simple fix. What we're going to do is grab our iron bars here, guys, and you want to coat the entire layer of obsidian with iron bars. This will bring the whole farm up approximately one block, and the iron bars are nice and sharp so the mutant drown won't be able to jump over and escape and bang there we go Oop, don't cover that last bit in and there we go now your mutant drowned can't escape but we still need a way to feed this big boy of a drowned so we're going to build a little bit of an inlet where we left this entrance open so go ahead grab your obsidian and we go one two three four five six blocks out one two and then one two three four five six blocks back then grab your glass here, guys, and we're going to bring our glass right around. And luckily, we've got the obsidian there, so it will be reinforced and hopefully it won't break uh, under the stress of mutant drowns, you know, smashing into it, especially if they're in a bad mood on that day, guys. So let's go ahead, fill that in. And then we're going to do the top here in obsidian as well, making sure to cover the roof and then grabbing your iron bars and wrapping those around so, you know, the guy can't jump out over this entrance. And then finally, guys, top it all off by filling in the floor floor here with obsidian now this great this is great and all you can view your bad boy make sure he's all nice happy and healthy but you can't feed him quite yet so to feed him we're going to smash this block out and chuck a dispenser here then on the other side you want to place a stone button now you can fill in this dispenser with fish in a buckets because mutant drowned eat fish for those of you who don't know or if you guys aren't creative it's as simple as grabbing a bunch of tropical fish spawn eggs and then chucking those into your dispenser. And now when you hit the dispenser, uh, the fish will pop out on the other side. However, there's currently no water and this poor fish is going to die. I'm sorry, Mr. Fish. I'm so sorry. Now, can you guys guess what's missing? I'll give you a second. One. Okay, if you said water, good job. If you said something else, then I'm not sure what you were thinking of, but yes, we are missing water. Now, you can go ahead and fill this entire thing in with water buckets if you're in survival. It will take you a while, but it can definitely be done. However, if you're in creative, there's a little bit of a trick you can use. Now, it's a bit hard, but I think you guys are all very, very smart and can handle this. If you guys are smart, drop a like down below. But I'm going to show you a little bit of my own special trick that will allow you to fill this with water really really quick so what you're gonna do is come to your bottom left hand corner of your farm and you're gonna smash out these two blocks here like so and then we're gonna go one down so you're standing in this kind of little section here then what you're going to do is open up your settings here guys go to settings and then scroll down where in game here and you want to scroll down till you find under world options show coordinates now you want to go ahead and flick that switch on and jump back to your game now you will notice in the top of the left hand corner, you've got three numbers. What you want to do is write down the three numbers of where you are currently standing. Yeah, your numbers will be different to mine. Make sure to write down 
your numbers. So we're going to go ahead here, guys, and mine are 905, 70, negative 53. I like to write these down normally on another piece of paper, but it's up to you. Now you've got the coordinates of that position. You want to fly all the way over to here, guys, and you want to break out this corner block here and stand there. Then we're going to do the trickiest bit. Open up your chat and type in a slash fill. And then you want to do space and you want to do the little wiggly line called a tilde. It looks like that. And you want to do tilde, space, tilde, space, tilde. And then you want to type in those three numbers you wrote down before. Make sure to use your numbers and not mine. And mine were 905, 70, space, negative 53. Then we're going to type in water, space, zero, space, replace, space, air. Go ahead and pause the video now if you guys need that command and then go ahead and hit enter. And boom, check that out guys. Your entire farm is filled with water. No need to worry about water buckets. Oh, and I accidentally placed one here. You can go ahead and place your block in that corner once again. And voila, it's done. Except you may notice this bit in here is kind of flooding in with water and you wanna be able to walk in here. So what you're gonna do guys is just fill in this entire space to get rid of all of the water. And then you can go ahead and we'll just do that really quickly. And boom, no more water. But it's also brought to my attention how ugly this entrance is. So we're going to make it a little bit prettier by grabbing your dark prisma instead, placing upside down here. Grab your iron bars and go one, two, three, four, up the side, one, two, three, four, down the other side. And now it looks just a little bit nicer. All right, on to our most important step. Now our next step requires you to build a working conduit because this is what's going to turn our regular drown into a mutant drown. So grab your prismarine bricks and go one, two, three, four, five, like so. Then you want to make a cross here and you want to go one, two, three, four, five uh, in the other direction. Then go one, two, three, four and do the same on each of the corners here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then join all of these blocks up here in a cross like so. Then go ahead, place one prismarine brick here in the center and place a conduit on top. Now all you have to do in three, two, one, break this block and hopefully, fingers crossed, there we go. We got ourselves a working conduit in Minecraft. And this is going to give your drowned its powers. And you may also notice it gives us an effect here, conduit power. Ooh, wow, very cool. All right, so finally, guys, you know, your drowned can live here. Perfectly fine but it's going to be pretty sad if it doesn't feel like it's a little bit at home. So we're going to use some kelp here and just kind of place this around to make, you know, your farm feel a little bit more like an ocean so your drowned is not completely sad living here. And, you know, he feels a bit happier, a bit more like he belongs and all around so he doesn't get really mad and start trying to break out of the farm. And you can also use seagrass here, guys. Uh, if you are in survival, you can get seagrass by using shears on seagrass in the ocean. And yeah, I feel like this is looking like a pretty homely ocean farm. Now it's time to chuck our mutant drowned in here. Now, I was thinking of pulling a regular drowned boy out of the ocean with a lead and then bringing him into this farm where he would turn into a mutant drowned. And that's what you would have to do in survival. And then I remembered I'm in creative and I could just use a regular drowned spawn egg. Now, just so you guys can see, this is 100% a regular drowned spawn egg. There is nothing strange about it. But when I spawn a drown in this farm, it should, in theory, turn into a mutant drowned thanks to our conduit and the structure of this farm. So here we have it, our mutant drowned farm. And when we spawn this regular drowned into this farm, in theory, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll turn into a mutant drowned. Are you ready? In three, two, one, boom. Regular drowned and boom! <laughs> mutant drowned! Check this out, guys. Holy moly, this guy is beefy, scary, and you do not want to mess with him. My goodness, look at the size of that trident. Oh boy, that is terrifying and also awesome, guys. So there you have it. We've got ourselves a mutant drowned farm and thanks to our reinforced glass, you guys can see he's trying to break out, but he cannot. And you know what? Go ahead, spawn him in a friend, guys. Again, in three, two, one, boom. Regular drowned and mutant drowned. These guys are both terrifying and awesome at the same time. Now you guys can see they're already trying to escape. So you know what? Try and keep them happy here, guys. You can come into your little uh, viewing platform just to see how they're all going. And why not go ahead and uh, give them some fish to go ahead and eat? Because let me tell you, these guys can get pretty hungry when they're trying to sustain that kind of muscle mass. Now, here's the thing. This may not have worked for you. 
uh, if you guys are trying this at home. And I have a few little suggestions if this isn't working for you. So make sure to stick around. I'm going to show you that right now. Now, if that didn't work for you, here's a bit of a solution. You can go ahead, come to your world menu, click the little pencil icon. And then on the left hand side here, guys, you want to scroll down to where it says behavior packs. Then you want to go ahead and click my packs and you should see here new mutant creatures. If you don't see this, guys, you can go ahead and download it from the link in the description below. All you have to do, click the link, download it, and it should appear right here for you. Go ahead, click it and click activate. Go ahead, continue. And now when you load into the world, you will be able to get mutant drowned. At least that should fix it if it wasn't already working for you. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, as always, drop a like down below. I will see you in the next one. And until then, guys, AY Stream and my fellow mutants drown out.